Hi everyone, the Pocket Full of Dough Summer of Dough Challenge continues and today we're going to talk about communication isn't the message you send, but the feedback that you get. It reads as follows. If someone responds differently to your message than what you had hoped for, change the style, the tone, and delivery until you get the desired feedback. When listening to feedback, pay attention to verbal and nonverbal cues as they will reveal a person's true feelings. Author, consultant, and former FBI negotiator Chris Voss recommends paying attention to the 738-55 rule. Only 7% of the message is based on words, 38% is based on the tone of voice, and 55% is based on the body language. Notice whether the words, tone, and body language are in alignment. In building rapport with others, match and mirror the person you're trying to connect with. According to motivational speaker and author Tony Robbins, he says people like people who are like them or who they like to be more like. He empathizes the importance of matching tone, pace, volume, body language, and diction. Another quote, I've learned that people will forget what you said, people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel, from Maya Angelou. If you want to be more effective communicator, pay attention to your audience, fail to understand and respect them, and you will surely be misunderstood, dismissed, or ignored. This is a great lesson. Communication is so key, especially when it comes to intent versus impact. And pace, tone, volume, mirroring, matching is so key. You know, if you're here, if you're listening to someone speaking in a very slow way, oftentimes mirroring them will make them feel like you are alike in a certain way. And uh, there are studies in that great book by Chris Voss um, from Never Split the Difference, the book that he wrote, where he talks about there are studies where subliminally, when you mirror someone, um, they feel like you, you have some sort of connection and you're able to build rapport better that way. So if you have someone who speaks at a fast pace, trying to mirror that helps someone who speaks, um, you know, with a, a change in their tone of voice, being able to match is huge. And so making sure that you are paying attention not only to your tone of voice, the words that you're saying and the body language, you know, you sound different, more confident if you have your chest pumped up where if you kind of speak like this, it, it, it the confidence level in a sales conversation, um, you know, in the way that your body language is being that it represents such a big part of how communication is interpreted by your audience. So a uh, great lesson, uh, love it. You know, when I'm speaking to folks, I'm always smiling. When I smile, I'm more enthusiastic. Uh, I'm able to also transmit uh, positivity, optimism, you know, excitement, uh, gratefulness, uh, all those all those elements that help you attract uh, the ideal client. So there are a lot of things that you can use that will make a huge impact when it comes to communication effectiveness and being successful in selling and building relationships. So with that, thanks for tuning in and until next time.